Hello again, and welcome back to our second feature. Tonight's movie, Two and a Half Dads, is a family-style comedy about two single fathers, their five children, and their friend, who decide to live together to save money. What follows is chaos, bedlam, and a lot of bad meals. Really bad meals. For those of you who have ever waited in line for the bathroom or run out of hot water in the middle of a shower, this movie is dedicated to you. What if there was no electricity? It's got batteries. What if they wear out? I'll get some more. What if you were in the middle of the Sahara and there was nobody around for a thousand miles? Hmm? Perfect. Then there's nobody to make me do long division. <laughs> what do you two have for dinner? It smells good. Meatloaf. Did Mom put onions in hers? Uh, well, I remember she put those uh, hard-boiled eggs in the middle. Remember the time she left the shell on one of them? Yeah, I saw that piece of shell and I thought I broke a tooth, huh? Remember that, Frankie? No. Frank, come here. Come here. Listen to me. Listen. It's okay to talk about her. You know, when your mom was alive, we shared a lot of laughs. It's okay to keep sharing them. I'm gonna go watch TV. Guess I better change. You two gonna be okay? Daddy, we're not babies. You don't have to stay home with us if you're not. Who are you going out with? Uh, Chick Leone, Pete Seltzer, a couple of buddies of mine from the Army. I won't be late. Be as late as you want. Well, you won't forget to lock the door. You think I'm an airhead? Yes. To my ear head. Lock the door. Skis, Bernice? You want me to mail you your skis? They don't make envelopes that big. Take me a week's worth of spit just to lick the stamps. Why did you ask me to mail you something simple, like the car? Now listen, you want to talk to the kids? It won't upset them. They're your kids. I said I'd send the skis! Well, uh... Your old mom packed everything but the kitchen sink and she forgot her skis. Did you say anything about, you know, coming home? Oh. Well, uh... We didn't really get into it, honey. Uh, but uh, she misses you guys. I should probably call tomorrow. Yeah, sure. Really? I can never figure out the Chinese. I mean, they build a thousand mile wall across the country. They invent gunpowder. They're pretty smart guys, right? How come they can't come up with a fork? Food's worth it. 
Who knows? Every time I get it near my mouth, it ends up back on a plate again. We'll get you some chopsticks with training wheels, huh? When we were in Vietnam, did you ever think we'd be sitting around a table like this 15 years later? I'd have been thrilled to know I'd be sitting anywhere the next day. Here's to the guys that didn't... didn't make it to dinner tonight. Any of you guys know about an apartment that doesn't cost a fortune? I don't know nothing that don't cost a fortune. The only thing you can get for a buck these days is a 10 cent cup of coffee. You uh, moving out? It's tight without Bernice's check. I don't have next month's rent. It's funny, I don't have next month's mortgage. How about you? Probably got a swinging bachelor pad, huh? Wall to wall ladies. The only thing swinging at my place are the cockroaches. It's a sleaze bag motel. It ain't been a good year, folks. Hmm. What if... What? Well, I was just thinking... Huh. Give us a break. What if... Uh, what? <laughs> what if... You guys... Moved in with me? There'd be room enough for all of us, even with the kids, if we squeezed it, we could share the costs. Me? Live with five kids? I haven't slept with that many people since my Aunt Lena dragged me to the opera. Are you serious? It's not perfect, but who's got choices? It's a great idea. Talk to the kids. Why? They'll love it. Never. I'd rather live at the bus station. Forget it. Come on, it won't be forever. It'll be like bunking with somebody. Like in camp. Yeah, prison camp. Hey, a family is not a democracy. It's a dictatorship. We do it. So you'd rather sell the house? Where would we move? I don't know. What about Mom's garden? We couldn't leave her flowers. They're just flowers. No, they're not. They're... They're just not. Well... What about the seltzers moving in? I vote no. I vote no. I vote yes. The seltzers move in. They look like geeks. This is the place. Do you think we should go down? Nah. What would we say to them? We could tell them they had the wrong house. Come on, girls, give your old man a hand. What a good-looking bunch. What are you doing? Good. Rose, Dorothy, say hello to Mr. Manley. You can call me Frank. You can call me Dorothy. You can call her Rose. That's our names. Right. Morning. Morning, Arlene. Oh, Pete Seltzer, Arlene Kulik, my neighbor. Nice to meet you. Pete and his family are moving in. Where are you going to put everybody? You have enough bedrooms? We're going to sleep uh, hanging from the ceiling like bats. What is that? Oh, don't be nervous. He likes you, see? He's smiling. Do you want to hold him? It looks like a guy I dated once. What's his name? Arnold. Oh. His name was Steve. Welcome to paradise. Come here, will you? Guess we should go down. No way. You want to sit on there all day? Come on. Give me a hand. Maybe you're right. Hey, I thought you weren't going down. Oh, for Pete's sake, Frank, don't you have any manners? Excuse me. Can I have some of that bread? 
You mean, could I have some of that bread, please? Could I have some of that bread, please? You should wash your hands before dinner. You've got dirt under your nails. I like them that way. That's flavor. Hey, you shouldn't feed dogs at the table. It's okay. He's part of the family. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Nice thing about Danny. There's not a lot of small talk. Dad, when are we going to eat? Coming up. I don't know. We may have a problem with this rice. <laughs> what is that? Steak and kidney stew. Bernice used to make it all the time, so I figured I'd give it a shot. You never made it before? Uh, how hard could it be? You get some steak, you get some kidney, you get some stew, and then you mush it all up. Is this supposed to look great? Yeah, I was wondering about that. Here we go, here we go. Yay! Hungry? Mm. Oh. Give me some room, will ya? You'd have some room if you took your elbows off the table. It's my table. I can do whatever I want. Come on, Frank. Get your elbows off the table. Yeah, take your elbows off the table. I hate this. I hate these people. Turns them right. Let me go and apologize. No. You can go to bed without your supper. She gets all the breaks. You can join her now. Thank you. Too bad, they're gonna miss the meal of the century. Hey, Kath, what do you think of Pete's cooking? It was great. You haven't eaten anything. I'm on a diet, thanks. Um, uh, I've got some work to do on my bike. Well, working out just fine so far. Uh, Frank, you got any cash? I need some money for gas. I spent all mine on groceries. Sure. How much was it? 214 bucks. What? Was it stuff that we needed? Yeah, if we wanted to stay alive. You know, this uh, living together was supposed to cut costs. What can I tell you? Uh, Frank, is this your last five dollars? Our last five bucks. Thanks. I can't believe this is so bad, five people won't eat it. Six. Portable TVs to hi fi video cassette recorders. Sneak sharps, chic sharps, anything you seek sharps. Sharp VCRs and TVs. From sharp minds come sharp products. Hamburgers are like trains. At some places, the hamburger makes several stops. First in a box, then under the heat lamp, and finally in the holding bin. That's the local hamburger. At Wendy's, your hamburger goes straight to you while it's fresh. So why take the local hamburger when you can get a Wendy's Express? Hot stuff. You know where to get all these steaming, hot stuffed baked potatoes. Hot, so hot. You get them at Wendy's. Ah. <laughs> Honey, you finished Patty's present. Now get some rest. Rest? Not with this cold. On top of my cough, I'm sniffling, sneezing, aching, feverish, and my head stuffy. Sounds like you need a present. NyQuil? NyQuil will make you feel better, so much better. I can rest. And tomorrow you can help our birthday girl decorate. 
NyQuil, the nighttime sniffling, sneezing, coughing, aching, stuffy head fever so you can rest medicine from Vicks, of course. Hi, Louise. Oh, Harry, with your cigars and these musty odors, we need Arm & Hammer Maximum Strength Carpet Deodorizer. For tough odors? Works longer, costs less than these, has more odor-destroying ingredients than these combined. And while these sit on top, Arm & Hammer Carpet Deodorizer penetrates, destroys deep-down odors. Works longer, costs less. The whole room's fresh. <laughs> Works better, longer, costs less, too. Now, extra value a new, larger family size. You know, television today has something for everyone, but every program may not be for everybody. Plan your family's television viewing and watch the programs with your children. Then discuss it. That's important. They can use your guidance and suggestions. Remember, television can be shared by your entire family and enjoyed more. Watch what happens together. Looking for a little action? I told you to keep an eye on it, didn't what I? Am I? Mary Poppins? Dry Hard Castle and McCormick. Okay, there should be room for all our stops if everybody meets. Great. Um, your brother, Danny. Does he go out with anybody or anything? Who'd want him? He's only interested in his dumb motorcycle. Hmm. Yeah, motorcycles and uh, classical music. Yeah? I didn't know that. You should be more observant. Very big on classical music. It's his passion. Can I hear Monkeys? It's only 9 o'clock. Don't expect me to turn the lights on, kid. The name's not Kid, it's Frank. Whoa, Frank the Enforcer. What are you doing? Sending my prayers. There's nothing wrong with that. It's good, I guess. Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. If I should die before I awake, I pray the Lord my soul to take. Amen. Where's your mother? Is she moving in with us? Who knows? Who cares? Don't you like her? I'll see you tomorrow. And God, tell Mommy I love her. Don't you think it's kind of late? No. <laughs> Got a reservation for Leone? Chick Leone? Now that's the master suite with champagne, the king-size waterbed, and the baby grand piano. Ah, Mr. Leone. Ding, ding, bellboy. You're moving in. You accept major credit cards? Do we ever. <laughs> Come on. painted it myself. Very nice. Hardly any of the numbers show through. Okay. Okay, I won't leave it to you in my will. About the bathroom. You get it between 8.10 to 8.16 in the morning. Now, there's not a lot of hot water, so you're limited to three-minute showers. And the Darth Vader toothbrush is mine. Okay, okay, I won't use your toothbrush. But you just don't use my brute, either. Brute. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> Kids, can you leave us alone for a minute? Chick, uh, I was wondering if uh, we could get uh, the money for the rent up front. Um, uh, that's a bit of a problem, Pete. I, uh, went to Vegas a couple of days ago. Oh, uh, you had a run of bad luck. No! I met a lady. And you blew all your money on her? Uh-uh. I, uh, I never went to work. So you didn't pick up your check? No. Chip, what exactly is the problem? 
I exactly got fired. Hi, Danny. Hi. Beethoven's cello concerto. Isn't it the best? Uh, it's boring. You prefer a symphony? Hey, classical music. I thought you liked it. Nah, can't dance to it. Right. The whole idea of Chick moving in here was to share expenses. I know. We got five kids, we got three adults, and a dog to feed. Not to mention a midget dragon. Toss a lot of bread. No. I said we toss him out like yesterday's newspaper. <laughs> He's a friend. He'll understand. Stop, will you? <laughs> hey, guys. Oh, I know what you're thinking. When's old chick gonna get a job, right? Well, there's nothing to worry about, because I'm starting to look for one today. Chick, take your time. You're not under the gun. You got a half hour, then we get the gun. There were 15 pages here just filled with people waiting for old Chick Lee to give him a call. Now look, for example, here's one. Open salary for a quick-witted, aggressive decision-maker. I mean, this fits me to a T. Really? Willing to relocate to Reykjavik, Iceland. <laughs> Lucky you, these Hawaiian shirts are really gonna come in handy in Iceland. Well, this one is good. Listen, guys, construction foreman, three years experience, I got that. For medical, dental, and pension plan. I mean, not bad, huh? Mm -hmm. Starting salary, $32,500. Whoa. Contact Mr. Jackson. Well, well, what are you waiting for? Go call him. I can't. Are you crazy? Why not? Jackson's the guy that fired me, my old job. At least the nights are long in Reykjavik. You'll be able to sleep late. Dad, I think you should wear this. It looks better. Anyways, that one clashes. Oh, yeah? Oh, thank you. I can never figure out what goes with what. <laughs> we women know these things. <laughs> so who's the mystery date? It's not a date. We're just gonna go watch a football game on TV. It's just me and Frank, Arlene from next door, and a friend of hers. Fix my collar, huh? Is the friend a girl? Yes. It's a woman. That's a date. Dorothy. Dad, your date's here. She looks like Hulk Hogan. Remember, lights out by eight, all right? Okay. Where are you going? Gonna see the football game with Arlene. See you in the morning, Tiger. Why, are you too old to kiss your old man? Good night. Those I clipped those coupons from the Stop and Shop in the papers. We can save 40 cents on dry dog food. Good. Keep an eye on the meat prices, too. They're bound to go down. Can you believe this? They're going to kick? Um, have you ever seen such a wimp team like this? No. Can I ask you a question? Shoot! How much do you pay for ground chuck? You think $1.39 is too much? Ground shot? We're in a doubled overtime. Scores tied. Ten seconds to go. You gotta be kidding. Dollar thirty nine is too much. How about sirloin tips? Me too. Yeah, I have the feeling you haven't done that in a while. Well, I catch a few games every now and then. No, I meant had a nice time. Maybe we can have more. Yeah. Good night, Ellie. Good night.
Introducing Carnation Instant Breakfast with no sugar added. You're gonna love it in an instant. So good and frosty, rich and tasty. Carnation Instant Breakfast. You're gonna love it in an instant. Now Carnation Instant Breakfast comes with 100% Nutrisweet in chocolate, strawberry, vanilla, chocolate malt. It's one nutritious breakfast you're gonna love. Carnation Instant Breakfast. In regular and no sugar added. You're gonna love it in an instant. After playing against some pretty tall competition, you probably think I shower with the deodorant soap. Not anymore, because I made a break from deodorant soaps. A clean break with Ivory. Look inside. Ivory's a basic natural soap. Not like soaps that leave deodorants or heavy perfumes all over you. With Ivory, I feel clean, I smell clean. And that's an honest clean. Make a clean break with Ivory. No soap can get you cleaner, no matter what size the competition. Bad checkup, Mom. You pray you never hear those words, but it could happen. Two out of every three kids between the ages of 5 and 17 still get cavities. So don't push your luck. Make sure your family fights cavities with Crest. You see, dentists have seen clinical proof for years. More of them recommend Crest. And more dentist families brush with Crest than any other fluoride toothpaste. After all, they want good checkups as much as you do. Crest, the dentist choice for fighting cavities. It's Sears Washington's birthday sale. For two days, save half price in this Craftsman drill. Pat Sander or Saber Saw, your choice, just $29.99. Half price on Easy Living Flat Paint, now only $7.99 a gallon. Spectrum 10W40 oil is now 59 cents a quart when you buy a gallon. Half price in this multi-purpose rowing exerciser, just $99.99. Savings throughout the store during Washington's birthday two-day sale. There's more for your life. The Disney Sunday movie will continue in a moment. The Soviets, devoted to their families and fiercely patriotic. As ABC News prepares to cover the 27th Party Congress from Moscow, we look at many Soviets who are in many ways like us. Monday, watch ABC's World News Tonight with Peter Jennings. This is the symbol of reliable overnight delivery. Express mail service from the post office. We deliver excellence for less. February is fabulous. Nissan dealers announced the biggest advance in small trucks in 25 years. Every new truck fuel injected, biggest cargo box, roomiest Nissan cab, and now available the most powerful V6 of any compact truck. Hello, calendar girl. You'll love those new Nissan trucks and sweet prices starting at $62.99. Nobody's got what Nissan dealers got. Plus special introductory prices for you. February is fabulous, so get to your tri-state Nissan dealer early tomorrow. It's explosive. Levitt's Washington's birthday sale. Don't miss the savings. The selection during Levitt's Washington's birthday sale, now through Monday. Citizen soldiers won the Battle of San Juan, led by a volunteer named Teddy Roosevelt. Members of the Guard and Reserve need their employer's support. Protect their future while they protect yours. The amazing 69 Mets return at 11. <laughs> Girls, you don't need it now. You get oatmeal sandwiches to take to school. Yeah. Ham and tomato on white. A hunk of cheese, two cookies, and some dental floss. Dental floss. I wouldn't want my choppers to end up in the glass. Was that your radio one all night last night? Yeah, I couldn't sleep. You know your dog snores. Why don't you put him in the doghouse? Why don't you move into the doghouse? Who's doing these dishes? About these dishes. I'll do them after school. Hey, Dorothy, you brought some OJ, huh? Where's the sports section? Can I see when you're through, please? Yeah, I'll call you. I'm going to read it in history class. Rosie. Thank you. Good morning. You bruised your eyes. Frank. You look weird. I'm walking to school. Are you walking? Uh, no, I'm taking my bike. Oh. Oh! The pain! The pain! Ah! <laughs> I can't stand 
understand this. Are we ever going to have a meal where someone doesn't run off in a huff? More coffee, dear. Yes, dear. A second cup of your coffee, babe. Absolutely, sweetheart. Penny. Mike looks good. Thanks. I called your mother last night. Yeah? She's doing well, seems happy. Why don't you give her a call? Say hello. Why? Give me a break, Danny. This isn't a thrill for me either. She's the one in split. If she wants to talk to me, let it be her time. She's your mother. Hey, the family scene's over, all right? I'll be 18 in June, and after that, I'm gone. Tones dull. How about yours? Great. I mean, I'm pretty busy, as you can see. I cleaned. I even waxed the floors. Awesome. You know, if we were engaged, I'd ask for the ring back. <laughs> hey, what's this? Don't read that. Sit down. Glasses are fences. They fence in her feelings. They wall in her senses by hiding her eyes. Just wire and lenses. They've seen many ceilings as she dreams up defenses and swallows her sighs. It's her in the poem. It's you, isn't it? Don't be dumb. Hey, kid. What? It's very beautiful. That's what you think. Hey, that's what I know. What do you know? Not much about poetry. A little about kids. Yeah? I thought you were the macho bachelor. No, I was married. To a Cambodian girl. You were in Vietnam? It wasn't everyone. Well, what happened to your wife? She was supposed to come over and join me in the States, but they had some uh, internal strife in Cambodia. Like in the killing field? Yeah. Except without the happy ending. He disappeared. What do you mean, they? I had a daughter. She would have been. She is your age now. So you see? We each know a secret about each other. You put your dreams on paper. I just dream. Lenses, go check and see if the tablecloth is ready in the dry, will you? Uh, should I iron it? No, we'll rough it. Yeah. Man, if you're the winner, I'd hate to see the loser. Yeah. Danny, what happened? Nothing. It wasn't his fault. Butt out, please. A, a guy hassled me. So you got into a fight? Great, since when do you start getting into fights? Well, let's not make a big deal out of this, all right? It is a big deal. You should know better than that. Don't try to run my life when you can't even run your own. You never hit one of my kids 
in my life. Ever. I didn't mean that. What's, uh, what's going on? What's with Danny? I hit him, uh... He's almost a grown man. All right, grown men don't need hugs. What if another grown man saw you getting a hug? Probably take away your six guns and your tattoo. I'm just glad that my kids are okay. Are they? Yeah. What, do you know something I don't know? No. I, I think Kathleen's a terrific girl. I... I do get the feeling now and then something's bothering Frank Jr. There's, there's more going on in there than he wants us to know about. Maybe it's just a stage, huh? Yeah, probably. That stuff would clean it up. And... It's blackberry brandy. My grandmother made it. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. You know, Julie would have liked your grandmother. She was always bottling or canning or preserving something. Did you ever notice that nothing ever turned out in life the way you figured it would? You being philosophical or feeling sorry for yourself? Sorry. <laughs> You're gonna take away my six guns? And your tattoo. Kathleen's a nice lady. Are we uh, buying or selling? I called Bernice while you were out. Oh, yeah? Yeah. She's gonna loan me some money. Great. We can use it. No. Uh, when we moved in here, we knew it wasn't gonna be forever. What are you saying? You gonna move out? Danny and I are getting further and further apart. I think it's best. <laughs> right. So moving out's gonna solve all your problems with Danny. Huh? Come on, Frank. Do whatever you want. Now, don't get steamed at me. I got a life to live, too, you know? You made a commitment. If you're gonna cave in every time you get in a fight with your kid, then it's better you get out. You're darn right we'll get out. We'll be gone tomorrow. Good! And leave Danny out of this, right? Hey, Frank, you gotta help me out here. You're mixing the pastels with the whites. I'm never gonna get these clothes clean. Never mind the laundry. Just get out and find a job. Hey, lighten up, pal, will you? I'm working on it. That's not good enough. Get a job and get out. I don't need you. I've been thrown out of better places than this.
news at the dentist. Our teeth aren't clean enough, so we're switching to the Reach toothbrush. Only Reach has reaching bristles to get between teeth and along gums. It cleans 51% better than other leading brushes. Reach from Johnson & Johnson. Get 51% cleaner teeth. It just wasn't worth it. I was lured by a sample and a coupon to try this new shampoo, but when it went into Sean's eyes, he cried. Many shampoos that claim to be mild can sting, irritate eyes. Only Johnson says no more tears. I can always depend on Johnson's. It's that time of year again, and Cadbury has hatched up milk chocolate mini eggs for Easter, made with Cadbury's dairy milk chocolate. Inside the crisp sugar shell is a chunk of thick and creamy Cadbury's dairy milk chocolate. That's why mini eggs give you a chocolate experience that is so special. Although Easter isn't here yet, Cadbury's mini eggs are. So discover for yourself which comes first, the bunnies or the eggs. It's here. Whoa. Bigger than anything you've ever imagined. Mom, we're going down. Voyage to the bottom of the ocean floor. Explore the living seas. There he goes. The largest man-made undersea environment in the world. You'll never know what you'll discover. The living seas. The world's sixth ocean at Walt Disney World Epcot Center. Turned out pretty good, folks. Well, it smells out of this world. Want to try some? Well, uh, we have our own meatloaf. Right. Everybody got enough chicken? It is kind of dry. I think maybe next time you shouldn't leave it in the oven so long. Just say yes or no, okay? Want some chicken? No, thank you. Nothing like a nice family dinner. Rose. Some storm, huh? I heard on the news last night that it's the tail end of that uh, hurricane that hit Alaska. You might remind your father that he's still got a lot of junk in our garage. Mr. Manley says... Tell your father it ain't junk. It's extraneous furniture which wouldn't fit into his miniature house. Mr. Seltzer says... Toast. Toast. Arden Construction's newest form. Me. Hey, fantastic, man. Congratulations. I got the job this morning, so I'll be looking for a place. You moving out, too? I don't like to be a burden to anybody, pal. Look, we've been talking, and, and we think this whole thing is, is silly. I mean, like, nothing's perfect. We get along, okay? You guys should be able to work out your problems. You're supposed to be adults. Yeah, you guys are acting like a... Well, you know what I mean. Why don't you finish your dinner and start your homework? You through eating? Yeah. Let's go. I told the manager I'd be there at 8. Aren't you coming? Why? You'll check out the apartment, see what it's like. Come on. You don't really care what I think. I'm gonna take a little walk. You guys wanna hold down the fort? Daddy, if they move, do we have to sell the house? I don't know. I just need a little time to go think about some stuff. I won't be long. I'm glad everybody's leaving. Now I can get my room back. Can you take down those pretty posters he put up? And can I paint it? Now you listen to me, Buster. You better start thinking about someone around here besides yourself. You're not gonna paint anything. What do you think? Money is falling out of the trees around here, huh? I'm sorry, Daddy. Look, I'm sorry, Frank. I didn't mean to yell at you. Why don't you think about what color you want, and I'll go buy the paint. Frank? Okay. Yeah. I'll see you tomorrow.
an ark. Uh-huh. You guys really leaving in the morning? Yeah. Aren't you even going to say goodbye? Goodbye? You really think you're something, don't you? You're not. You're just another jerk. And what do you know? Pardon me, I keep forgetting you've got problems. Just shut up, all right? You know who's got problems? Your dad. Maybe he couldn't keep his marriage together, but he's trying to keep you guys together no matter what. And what are you doing to help? Nothing. You're pitiful. Right. Pitiful. Good. Why don't you get on your motorcycle and take off like you always do? You just don't understand. Look, all I'm trying to say is that you're not the only one. We're all going through something weird. Come on. Come on, don't do that. I can't help it. Come on. Pretty tough, aren't you? Yeah. Um, is your garage roof leak? Uh-huh. You better cover your motorcycle. Wouldn't want it to get ruined. Got a flashlight? What do you keep? I don't know. Frank? Frank, where's the flashlight? Frank? Everybody all right? Daddy, Frank's gone. Where? I don't know. Don't worry, we'll find him. Come on. and nobody can find him. How long has he been gone? I don't know. Be careful, Danny! Hi, guys. You like to go out, too? Yeah. So what are you doing out in the rain, but it's going to be dust. Frank uh, disappeared. What? Are you sure? He's looked everywhere. Did you check that ice cream place on Benton's? You know him and his sweet tooth. Yeah, we'll try there next. You want me to come with you? That's all right, but if he shows up here, can you send him home? Yeah, I'll keep my eye peeled. Don't worry. Thanks. Come on. He forgot his raincoat. Catch his cold. I'm really going to yell at him. Come on. I wonder why he split. He's a kid. Kids do weird things. You should know that. What? I'm not a kid. I'm 14. I didn't mean you're a kid. You're a young woman. Thanks. <laughs> I'm looking for a little redheaded kid about so high. Have you seen him? I haven't seen him. Well, I live right up the road. If you do, will you let me know? If I see him, I'll send him home. All right, thanks. Be careful. Been all over the neighborhood and checked the backyards. He's got to be somewhere. Kids don't just disappear. They do, Pete. They do. We'll find him. have an argument. He hates me. Yeah? 
I had the idea he loved you. I'm probably wrong. Everybody hates me. Everybody hates me. Nobody loves me. I'm gonna go eat worms. What's that? It's a stupid poem I learned when I was a kid. It was back when Earth was still cooling. You know, it's, it's hard for your father. He's got to be both a dad and a mom. Tell me about your mom. I don't want to talk about her. That's fair. My mom is dead. Oh, you know. I know. Where in the hell do you keep your wood, Harleen? I'm all, all out. Hi, Frank. Listen, uh, we're gonna have to get that chainsaw that we talked about. Maybe this weekend we'll go up the mountains, cut a half a quart or so, huh? What about Kathleen? Oh, this is man's work. Whew. Wanna do me a favor? I'm frozen. Go whip us up some hot chocolate, huh? Sure. Great. Forgetting that kids are no different than us. They just want to be held and told everything is going to be okay. To say I love you. It's so easy to mess everything up. Thanks. Didn't that Humongous likes Arnold. <laughs> <laughs> Dip him in gravy. He'll like him more. Thanks. Now, what the heck? It was a nice night for a walk. <laughs> Are you warm enough, kid? Don't call me kid. Right, right. Rose, Danny, Dorothy, listen up. Uh, I've made a decision. We're not moving out. Uh, you know, we gotta learn how to live together. I think we should have put marshmallows in the hot chocolate. It'll take some adjusting, but I know we can do it. Pete? Well, it, it's gonna be difficult for you kids and for us guys, but that's my decision, that's it, and that's fine. Pete? Take yes for an answer. Glad somebody was listening to me. <laughs> Welcome home. I'm starved. What else is new? Come on, let's grab us some eggs. You know, it's such a hassle looking for an apartment. I think I'll stick around here with you guys. Oh, perfect. Well, you better cool it with the Italian food or I'm going to weigh 300 pounds. Look, Dan, uh, you know I'm not a great speech maker. But uh, we're, we're all making a beginning here. We're all starting over. Maybe you and I could start over, too. What do you say? I'm gonna go to bed. So, how's it feel to be a parent? It's like a dream come true. Hey, I got some clothes in the dryer. I gotta go check my lint trap. What are you gonna do about Danny? I figure I got two choices. I either rip his ears off, 
Or I can tell him I love him. I'm going to tell him I love him. Good choice. He's also tougher than you. <laughs> hey, Pete. Hmm. What do you think? We're going to make it work? Oh, we got it made. We got to have mercy on our souls. Uh, come on, you mother. Come on. Thicker is flirtier. Thicker is sassier. Thicker is Great Lash Mascara by Maybelline. More than just thick, it conditions as it thickens. And lashes can't get any thicker than this. Great Lash conditions as it thickens by Maybelline. Long-wearing nail color by Maybelline lasts through work, lasts through play, lasts through all you do and say. And what colors? Long-wearing nail color by Maybelline lasts and lasts and lasts. He was Mr. Engineer. You're going to get a job any day now. Now he's Mr. Unemployed. <laughs> Is he man enough to be the woman of the Huzz? Terry Garr and Michael Keaton, he's the last word in child rearing. He's Mr. Mom. Next. On the next Disney Sunday movie, she and her family survive the terror of their homeland, only to face the strange realities of American family life. This here's a toilet. Why are y'all saving food? There's plenty. It's a true story of people reaching out. How do you destroy ghosts? And of one girl who never gives in. She has such a drive. The word is accentuator. Accentuator. Wayne Rogers and Mary Kay Blake star in Lin Yan, the girl who spelled freedom. This is David Hartman. Anatoly Sharansky is a free man, and tomorrow we'll talk with Sharansky about his dissident years in the Soviet Union and his new freedom. Anatoly Sharansky, tomorrow on Good Morning America. Now stay tuned for the network television premiere of Mr. Mom, the ABC Sunday Night Movie, next.